Hey guys, welcome back. I've got another great shave for you today. Uh, for today's shave, or for this week rather, um, I'm using the same razor. I'm keeping that the same, everything else is changing. So, before we get started, I'll show you guys what we're using this week. Uh, we're using the wonderful Jim Micromatic Open Comb. Um, recently, Fuzzy said something that got me thinking, which is kind of hard for me to do sometimes, but be that as it may, uh, I uh, was thinking about the Micromatic being an open comb razor and if it was good for everyday shaving and everything like that. And it is. You can shave with it every day just fine. Just like any other razor you pick up. A razor is a razor. A blade's a blade. You shave fine with them. It doesn't matter what they are. For this episode though, we are using Treat. Uh, it's going to be the first shave on a new blade. These are stainless blades. Or, I'm sorry, these are, uh, yeah, these are stainless blades. So, uh, just take that however you like. Alright, and then for this shave, uh, we're going to be using our Old Spice Fresh Lime. We are also going to follow that off with Old Spice, the new formulation, aftershave. And then to finish that up, we're going to be going with the Old Spice Classic Cologne. So, we have that. We have our board brush soaking. Recently, I was also asked um, via PM over on uh, Toast, that's the original safety2.com, how I liked this board brush compared to the last one that I used uh, that Fuzzy sent me. So while I'm lathering and that sort of thing, we'll kind of be talking about that. Uh, our drink for today is going to be a Deep Elm IPA uh, based out of Dallas. So uh, if you guys like IPAs, it's great. If you don't, well, you should. So anyway, there we have that. Uh, brush has been soaking for a few minutes, so we're going to go ahead and pull it out of the water, which by the way, is in my Saints class. Yes, I know how to lose graciously. It's already been asked. All right, so. Now this brush doesn't have all the weird bristles like Fuzzy's does, but it still works just the same. Um, one of the characteristics that I found between this one and the last one that I used uh, from Fuzzy was the um, weight of the brush. This one seems to be a bit heavier and I don't know if that is on purpose. That's maybe just my imagination. I'm not sure. But this, this particular one does seem to be a bit heavier. So um, take that with it how you like. All right. I'm going to go straight into a face lab. And of course, as many of you already are well aware, this Old Spice, it really does a good job on smell. Uh, I love the way this stuff smells. It's not an overpowering lime, but there is just enough there to uh, to give you that hint of a lime. And so, uh, it also has a, a musky smell to it. Um, I'm not really sure how to describe it exactly, other than just a, uh, a hint of lime in the background with notes of must or musk, uh, notes of. Um, Smoke, I get a little smoke with it. I also get quite a bit of vanilla, at least to my nose, I smell vanilla. I do have some of the original uh, formulation Shelton brand Old Spice, but I don't use that all the time because it's obviously getting harder and harder to find now. This lather, by the way, um, is just for you distorted cheese. Uh, this is not going to be a buttercream lather. Because I'm not that good at making lather. You're much better than I am. and I always enjoy watching you do it, wishing I could do the same thing. So, but Other than that, yeah, it's looking pretty good so far. Um, how's your day going? You having a good day? That's good. Have a great day. I'm off work today. Just me and the dog here at the house. She must be obeyed as at work. So, yeah, it's a good day today. Speaking of which, I don't think you guys have ever seen the, uh, the uh, head of the house. Give me just a second. I'll be right back. Hang on. So, 
This little guy right here, he's the head of the house. This is Bentley the Cocker Spaniel. So, you know what's still here in the background? That's him. All right, so let's go ahead and get on with the shave before it uh, gets to bed. Sorry, I was trying to look at something in the camera lens. I didn't need to see my whole face there. All right, make sure our door is tight, which it is. I'm going to come right here. We're going to begin. Now, this razor, by some, is considered an aggressive razor. Well, it's not aggressive, actually. It's efficient, that I will give it. Meaning that I don't have quite as much work to do to get the hairs off. It's a little bit more forgiving in that area, I guess you could say. Great blade feel though. You know, as my technique has improved, I'm actually beginning to enjoy the blade feel. It doesn't scare me anymore. When I was first starting out, I was like, oh no, that's got a it's got a lot of blade feel to it. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go super, super slow. Well, like I said, as my technique has improved, I realized blade feel is a good thing. You can actually get a lot of a lot of good clues from Blakefield, at least in my personal opinion. Alright, here we go. I need to reapply just over the mustache area here. Alright. Here we go. This is always the hardest part for me, so this is how I test a razor right here. Yeah. A treat blade is a good blade. I can already tell you that. Alright, so there's the first pass. Got a little weeper right there. That's me, not the blade. Go right into a second pass here. Another thing about this brush that I liked a little bit better than the other one is this one's a little bit floppier, I guess you could say. Um, I usually like them to have a lot of backbone, but really this time, this one, I kind of like the back, the floppiness of it. It's, for whatever reason, it seems to, well, it seems to have enough backbone to get the job done, especially when you soak the bristles. But it's not so floppy that you just can't paint on a good lather, and I enjoy painting on a lather. I know some people prefer to spread, but I'm a painter, so there you go. There's a hole right there too. Thoughts and prayers are going out to those that are in the path of the hurricane. Uh, growing up in Florida, I've been through many a hurricane, so I definitely know what they're doing right now. All right, second pass, here we go. This is getting cleaned off. All right. This brush is not very good. It holds the lather very deep in the brush, which I don't know if that's an important thing to you or not. It seems like some brushes don't hold it quite as deep in the, in the bristles. This one seems to do that. Maybe I'm just crazy and that's what I see and that's what I think, but it feels like it does. Just recently had a friend of mine, actually a co-worker, uh, get uh, interested in this kind of shaving. I started them out with uh, the more traditional style razors that people think about when they think about safety razors. Switched them over to a gym demo scheme that I gave him. I said he's a little bit scared of it, so 
Well, that's good. A healthy fear is a good thing. I have a healthy fear of snakes. The only difference between that and a razor is I can control the razor. You can't control a snake. All right. Second pass done in the books. I'm going to need a little bit more cream. I didn't quite get enough on there the very first time, but that's okay. Doesn't take much, just right there to the face. Bristles. Water again, and go right into a face lather again. So, as I said before, uh, this brush is a bit more floppy than the uh, one that I had, but it does seem to hold the lather deeper in the brush, meaning that it gives you it gives you more ability to put more water into the brush and into the lather. So, in that aspect of it. I actually prefer this one. Um, I also prefer this one because as you're painting it, you can see it does a really good job of painting on the lather. The other one was more of what I call a splay lather, whereas you as you rotate it in circle, it allows more of the lather out. This one you can actually just paint on with it and it works out well. So that's kind of the differences between the two, at least in my unprofessional opinion. Y'all give me just a second. Got a text message here. No, we don't need to talk to them right now. We're shaving. All right, here we go. Uh, third pose. When you're starting out, you don't always have to try to get a BBS, okay? Is it a good goal to have? Yeah. Is it something you have to have on every shave? No. The main thing you're trying to do is reduce the beard, reduce the growth as efficiently as possible. Promise, this razor's not any, any more sharp than any other razor out there. Not any more aggressive than any other razor out there. Then more blood gap, maybe. To make it more aggressive, not necessarily. There we go. That third pass is where I can hear the change. A modified third pass here, come back up against the grain. There's still more than enough slickness to do that. There we go. Okay, now we'll come get this for the lip. Touch up and then we're done. This is the last little bit of touch up that I'll need to do right now. A little bit more water on it. There we go. I always have to get this last little bit right here as a touch up. You know, my neck it goes different directions, so that's why I have to do that follow-up path. Alright, one last little spot right there, right there. There we go. So that's it, we're done. We're going to dry the face off real fast. 
There we go. One more sip of our IPA. Shave cream off the ear. I'm going to go with our aftershave. Again, we're using the Old Spice, the new formula. I uh, wish I had some of the original, but I don't. Oh, yeah. It's got a good burn to it, too. I like that. Let's go with a little bit more. How about that? There we go. Alright, there you have that. Okay, give that just a moment, let it sink in, and then the cologne. There we go. So there you have it, guys. That is the Micromatic Open Comb with the Treat Blade. Great shave. Got a little weeper right there. That's me. And I got a little bit on the lip right there. That's no problem at all. Hope you guys enjoyed. I really enjoyed making this video. And I hope to see you over on uh, TheOriginalSafety2.com. Have a great day and hope you have lots and lots and lots of great shaves.